first boss battle, Oculus of the Rift, or as I called him, the Beholder. The special ability of uh, him is the Mind Control. He can control any minion of your party. To beat him, just have an awesome group of good damage dealer, healers, tanks and resurrector. He is a very hard opponent to fight. If you have bad luck, he can mind control easily your best fighter or your resurrector and kill your whole party. His minions are usually no match for you, but mind control can change everything. Hall of the Highest Mage No melee unit can catch this mage cause he teleports. It's not really true, but the text tells me so. Okay, so we should take some. Mages and Archers. Yep. And one Resurrect. Two healer, one Resurrect, one Archer. And let's show if it works out. Any fighter to bash this boss. Crypt of the Simona. This is a special mage who can cast random spells in random order. To fight against him, you should have a standard combination of tank, healer, resurrection and damage dealers. If you have a special item, for example an item who will give you um, your special abilities if the opponent do a spell or Great Dominion. I have a healer in my party who can um, use his special abilities lots of times if the opponent mage does a spell. So it's very easy to fight against him because my healer literally can't die. It's possible, yes, I've fought against this boss several times and I will say 50-50 my healer alone could fought this boss. If you have an item like this, you should manage to fight and win against this boss very easily. Two or three of them can heal very well against his spells. Yep. Oh, 
our mages heals themselves very well. And we can get the loot. Thank you very much. Cave of the Tiny, or as I am call him, the Giant. This is a very hard boss, but with the right things you can manage him, I would say 80% of the time. Uh, this boss hunts you. What does this mean? You fight him in 3 rounds, each 20 seconds and every round he gets harder. He is impossible to beat, so you only have the chance to survive in heal yourself. The unit compositions should be healers, resurrect and tanks with a lot of health. If it's possible, you can give the hero the Ank of Resurrection to help in bad circumstances. The third stage is very hard. He do some punches who literally kills two, three, four, five, even six of your minions instantly. So there is a chance that you can lose even you have the best unit position, because if only the tanks survive, you will lose. If healers survive, you have a good chance. If Resur Resurrector will survive, you have also a good chance to win. Sorry, it's the Goblin King. For me, he is the hardest opponent. You have to fight him in 3 rounds, 20 seconds each. In difference to the giant, he runs away from you. This means you have to kill him within 60 seconds. As if this wasn't hard enough, he has good variants of abilities like surface damage, which means that the whole party will get damage each hit. He also has a stunning attack, which knocks half of the party out. Additionally, he gets stronger as longer the fighter takes place. As if all that was not enough, he still has a chain lightning attack, which also damages the whole party. You should fight him with the best units you've got. Maybe lots of damage will help. In my five fights against him, I lost four times in a row. We always fought with two tanks, three healers, one resurrect and two archers. I will ensure you that I will improve in the future. He is a very hard opponent, because he does lots of damage and has lots of health.
Witch of the Mistress, or as I call her, the Spider Queen. In my opinion, this is a very easy boss. Her special ability is summoning lots of minions. But these minions are not very good, so you can easily crush them and fight against her. She also has a surface damage, which means that the whole party will get damage each hit. A standard unit composition of tanks, healers, one or two resurrections and damage dealers should easily win this battle. I fought against her, I think, ten times and never lose. <laughs> Refugee of the Porter, or how I will call him, Stone Golem. He has one special ability, he can absorb magic damage and regenerate health instead. He can attack all member of the party in one hit. He also has the ability to stun one or more opponents and he neglect the effect of resurrection. So if a party member dies, he stays dead until the end. He has lots of health, so you have to push him hard with good damage dealers like a mix of tanks and archers. This boss does less damage, so you don't have to use healers so much. Yeah, 
very well. Residency of the Beast. He has multiple rage levels and shows a different behavior for everyone. He attacks several party members in one hit and he has three stages each 20 seconds where he can attack uh, archers, mages or fighters. There is nothing more to say about him. I think he is a really easy boss. I win always against him. To see how good the enemy is. Oh, he has three stages as well. I yeah. three stages of. Attack patterns. Okay, he kills the healers very easily. in time everyone woo baby that was close arena of the vampire count he is a flying creature yes he can fly so your melee fighters are useless his second ability is damage is caused based on the health of the target. Less health means more damage. He also has a fast regeneration. During the fight he changes often his opponent. So the party should have only ranged fighters like mages, with heal and resurrect and archers. If you want you can do one tank but it's not necessary. If you have two less damage then you will lose so you should mix some archers with critical damage in the party. Wow, what a lose. We haven't enough damage dealers to beat the vampire. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something about the boss battles in Hustle Castle. If you like the channel, feel free to subscribe and click the bell icon. I wish you a fine day. Bye bye.